Hello everyone, uh, uh, this is the test automation brigade which is happening on December 12th um, and first of all uh, sorry for the confusion today, uh, meeting coordinates was used by some other meeting and then I had to um, request them uh, and uh, luckily they were just run right when I joined the call so there was uh, um, sorry for the confusion. All right, so just going quickly, there are not many items on the agenda, but just please um, let me know if there are anything else that we want to talk after our uh, regular items on the agenda. Uh, let's go over the status updates. Okay. Uh, Infosys, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah. Hi, Suchitra. Suraj from Infosys. So, yeah. Hi. Hema won't be able to join call today. Uh, so, uh, I have her update. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, she's done with the Jenkins uh, JNLP uh, related configuration and also shared the IP details of the pods. Uh, so that's the update I have. And uh, from my end, uh, yeah, I am working on the uh, data number 2182. So I am done with uh, writing the keywords for it. So I am uh, doing uh, the testing on our uh, internal hardware. So I'm trying to uh, rectify the errors I'm getting. So probably in day or two, I will submit the patch for the same. Uh, so it is currently in progress. And uh, from Gayatri's, uh, and uh, yeah, I think she is done with the uh, Jira number uh, one five uh, one nine five eight, and uh, she has submitted the patch for it. And uh, she has picked uh, the uh jira id 1957 now okay yeah. uh, any other and, uh, issues or showstoppers uh no actually we don't have any blockers uh, as of now i have just one query regarding on this uh jira id 1959 so this one it isn't two actually yeah yeah so can we, I mean, uh, last time uh, Hema asked, like, can we include uh, uh, it in the 1958? So in 1958, we are restarting all the uh, containers in uh, uh, loop and then checking the operational functionality of. Yes, that's correct. We can include, but I'm not sure how exactly the behavior of. Then is having one. Is it the same? Um after you crash the ONU adapter uh, you might want to check certain things according to this uh, description here like let me see I don't remember oh, yeah, sure. yeah the RG is passing traffic and if you crash the adapter then a new instance is restarted and it should be and then it should get back and it shouldn't force the yeah. RGs to go through the reauth, uh, but the pings should pass yeah. again so probably we might need to have an additional check. And I have seen Gayatri's patch for the other uh, scenario. And uh, that's very okay. generic to after restarting a container, we are just making sure that um, everything comes back up in a right state. So maybe right. a little yeah, so additional, additional step is here. Okay. No problem, I understand. So yeah, I will uh, be are treating this in a different uh, way then as we are checking whether they should not ask for the authentication again yeah got the point okay thank you and uh, i know that uh, gayatri also uh, submitted their his her patch and uh, i still have to get through it i reviewed her patch and then she um, she had submitted a new change for the comments um, Hopefully, we should mm -hmm. be able to merge them today. 
and it's, sure. and it's sure. passing yeah and it is passing on the hardware as well so it should be good all right okay so once you are done um uh, i think you already have the next task probably hemalata needs to start her own task right for the remove react subscriber right right i think she is working on it so i don't have much update on that side but yeah okay sure thanks suraj anything else from your side no that's all be a good all right thank you so much um uh, let's see if atran is on the call uh, anybody from atran torsten okay uh, looks like i i don't see anyone on the call from atran i know that uh, gerald from atran is off until jan for the holidays and torsten he has this particular task and he has finished it and uh, uh, submitted a patch and i reviewed it they are working fine even on hardware so we should be able to merge them soon by end of today and um, that's the update and uwe uh, and geral they are have been working on the pod and uh, vpn issues okay anybody else on the call uh, uh, debashish uh, yes uh, suchitra uh, good morning uh, so um, with our initial setup uh, uh, so we have just executed most of the test cases so now um, we are almost on the verge of uh, slowly writing any new support test cases that you would be assigning us we'll start looking into that and then then we will down um, move to sort sorting out these jira issues actually because i have to go through those uh, uh, components that you have sent as in documentation right so I'm just going through that to understand the internals. At least with that, I will try to start uh, writing those test cases whenever the requirement comes. Okay, thank you. And uh, there is one task that you could uh, work on. There is uh, this item right here, Gillis. Uh, this has been all. Can you, yeah, can you tell me that number? Actually? Oh, okay. 1823. Wall, yeah, wall 1823 is the task and a part of this test case has already been written and maybe we can uh, talk talk on the slack but uh, some of the details i could pass over and uh, this could be accomplished probably because now that you are bb sim setup is also working good sure 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 we'll do that all right, thanks, Debashish. And an update that Gillis will not be working for uh, Volta project for some time. And Gillis is from North Forge, and uh, he uh, he's assigned to another project at North Forge, and for two months, most probably he'll be back uh, by end of January, and then continue on Volta. Okay, um, I think. Uh, that's what we have and uh, not many people on the call because of the confusion that we had today about this uh, meeting coordinates uh, but uh, we can reach them out on the slack anyone else has to talk about uh, the jira tickets any issues questions that we should be discussing today uh so Chitra, can you go back to the agenda yeah i added a link And the 2.2 .2 release, can you click on that? And then this is what was shared during the um, uh, during the earlier Volta meeting. Can you click on the 15 item column near near the Volta 2.0 test automation brigade? This one. The yeah, the 15. Yeah. So so these are all the items that are. Um, uh, scheduled for the 2.2 .2 release. And I'd, I'd kind of like to go through and know what items are, are we think aren't going to make it into that release, which is next Tuesday, mm -hmm. and uh, need to be moved to the 2.3. So. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So do we want to do it right now? Yeah, let's, let's do that now just to see what, um, 
see what stuff is going to get 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 done. Right. Sure. Okay. So the do you want to go through the list or should I read it out? Yeah. Let's. Uh, you can read it out. Okay. So the first one uh, uh, talking about new keyword that performs sanity test procedure. Yes, this could be closed by that time. Um, so we can leave it as 2.2. The second one, build Infosys pod from Jenkins. Um, the, uh, Andy, did you want to take up this task or uh, should I just take it over? Um, either way okay. is fine, I think. Um, I'm not sure if we have all of the information we need from Infosys right now. Um, I haven't looked at the at the spreadsheet uh, that they've been filling out. Um, I guess it's possible that this will be done by next Tuesday. I don't see it critical for, uh, for the release, but we should get it done as soon as we can. Okay, sure. So, Zach, is it okay if we just leave on until Monday and then recheck on this task? Sure, that sounds good. Okay, so if we can't do it, then we would just you know, put it as 2.3 then at that time. All right, the next one for Andy, uh, configure new and use in chosen part. Yes, I intend to get this finished today. Uh, we have all of the hardware we need now. And so the Tucson pod where we run the hardware tests will have three ONUs, uh, two of them on PON port one and then one on PON port two. Uh, so it should be a good platform uh, for testing. And then we're going to make all of the Volta patches um, going into Garrett pass on that hardware configuration before they're merged okay that sounds good so we just leave it right uh, by yeah that, I, I i expect to close this later today okay uh there is a siba hardware pod setup from rohan Ag agrawal um zach do you know do you have any idea who this let me look at what this uh this is uh, emphasis lab I don't know. Does anyone from Infosys have yeah, that's Infos comments on this? Right, that's Infosys. Okay, so the hardware part setup, probably this should be closed from the Infosys, right? Because this, I'm assuming that this is the, this is where, where they are interconnecting the pod with all the elements. Um, anyone, anyone from Infosys could talk to it? Suraj, do you have any idea? Uh, I know that he's uh, working on some hardware uh, setup. So it's mostly in internal uh, thing, but I'm not sure on that. So uh, can we... I, we can confirm on this. OK, yeah, thank you. That would be great if you can uh, ask uh, Rohan. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so this one, disable enable from for Tostin, this could be closed soon by today, most probably. And there's another one for Zach, test Volta system test running under Python 3. Yeah, so I this involves updating, um, making sure the Volta system tests run on Python 3 instead of Python 2. I haven't gotten into this because I've been stuck doing a Python 2 to 3 update on the um, OF agent. So I'm going to probably um, take this to Volta 2.3. Okay. I don't think this is going to get done before the end of the year. All right. All right. Thanks, Zach. Uh, the next one, DHCP, DHCP fails when ONU is not authenticated. Uh, Suraj? Did you? Yeah, yeah, so Chitra, so. So do you think that you could... Yeah, I'm planning to. Yeah, so the idea is that would this be, uh, you would, would you be able to complete this by Tuesday next week? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can, I can do that. Okay.
uh, start Volta containers in a specific order. I don't think this could be because Gerald is on vacation. So I'll change it. All right, there's one more for running robot into insanity test twice that fails. This is a bug. What do we do with this? There's currently uh, a lot of progress being made on this bug. It's, I think, over um, the, the Volta developers are all investigating this uh, issues related to this bug right now. So I expect that can be closed um, really shortly. I'll talk to David too about that just to make sure that he's on board with that because he's the reporter. Okay. Thanks, Andy. All right, uh, Hangway. Hangway, are you on the call? Okay, let me ask him later. And this is David's. Um, he has submitted a patch and it's just uh, they're just pending to be merged and uh, I'm hoping to close this by end of Friday by merging his patch. So we can just leave it. Restart any container, guy three. This is, this is the one we just talked about and she already submitted a patch for this. Uh, or in your reboot um, for guy three. Suraj? Mm -hmm. Could you check with Gayatri on this one on 1957 about ONU reboot? If could if this could be done yeah. by next uh, uh, Tuesday? Yeah, Gayatri on call. Oh, hi, Gayatri. Hi, Sujitra. Um, I think I can finish it by next Tuesday. All right. We can. Do that. So we just leave as is then. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and this is one item I don't think the OLT reboot. I could try, but I'm not sure. So I might change it. In case I take it up, then I will change it back to Volta 2.2. Kelis. Okay, we have gone through all items. Anything else, Zach? Uh, no, that looks good. Can you refresh just to... Okay, yeah, well, now we're down to 11 for 15, which is good, and it sounds like most of the other ones are going to be triaged. So, um, all righty, that, that looks good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, one more item is this uh, spreadsheet right here. Please make sure that we uh, fill in the details. And I've seen that there are tasks that have been already closed, but there are no test cases associated with it. Uh, it would be very nice to put the Jenkins no, uh, name and, uh, and also the test case. And also please fill in the other details, whether it's already closed or still work in progress or something. So uh, this is an action item for everyone. Please make sure to do it by next uh, uh, Thursday. Okay, so before we move on, anything else on the JIRA tickets? All right, uh, part status. Zach, do you want to speak to it? Sure. Well, um, uh, for DT, the Berlin pod, um, we connected the VPN and uh, that was added to Jenkins. Um, there's a link there that shows the Jenkins, the GT pod. 
Um, I believe there's configuration information in a spreadsheet we've been sharing with DT uh, that will need to be turned into a configuration that can be used with um, uh, with running jobs. Um, I think I was talking to Andy about that. Um, do you have all the information you need to do that, Andy, or do we need to sit down together and 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 make that happen? Um, I don't know if I have all the information. Let let's if let's sit down later. Okay. And then uh, in terms of jobs that would be assigned, um, I believe it would be running similar jobs to what's being run in the Tucson pod. Although um, this. The, the, the Berlin pod does have a, um, a GPON OLT um, and own use, so um, that would be additional uh, an additional test target that um, we don't have in other locations. Yeah, so what the intention of the Berlin pod, should we use it as the path set verification? I believe so, or for, um, or for, or for other similar tasks. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm my suggestion would be if we are using this pod for the path set verification, then uh, let's not use the GPON OLT initially. Um, in the configs when we are defining, we can just give only one OLT to start with and then have the respective ONUs. Once everything works, then we could have another QA job which um, includes the GPON OLT and then tries to test it first before we can turn it on for the path set verification. Oh, that sounds that sounds good. Um, okay, so I'll get with Andy and we'll get this uh, configured or know where the gaps are in the configuration. We can take that back up with Mike and Bjorn. Um, okay, the emphasis Q, QA pod, um, Hema, and we've had back and forth with Hema and, um, and that's JNLP connected. Um, it's been added to Jenkins. Um, I think Suchitra, you were working through a spreadsheet Oh. with um, with emphasis right that's correct so there are a couple questions that I wanted to get and talk to Hema about it I will do that soon and I'm not hoping to finish this by end of next Tuesday because I know that Saurav also wants us to finish few things before the release ends so I just want to prioritize which one takes over first and once the details are all finalized from Infosys, then I can pre create the configuration and then create the jobs. And uh, likewise, the job creation for at the CI CD, sorry, for the CI management, I can create for the Berlin as Berlin pod as well. Um, if we get the configurations ready, maybe Andy and I will coordinate on that. Yeah, that that sounds great, Suchitra. Okay, thanks, Andy. Okay, and um, for the AT and T, um, the DVL pod in Austin, I've been I've sent a couple emails to Omkar and haven't heard um, um, anything from him. Um, so we'll just continue doing that, and hopefully uh, we'll get um, get that pod up and going too soon. Um, but that's it for the pod status, I believe. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, that was a good progress, Zach. I, I think all the VPN is connected. It's just that now the test, we just need to have the jobs defined in Jenkins. Great. Thanks, Zach. Any other questions to Zach? Okay, sounds like no. Um, all right, any other questions? Uh, uh, issues or questions that we want to discuss today before we close out. I don't see any other items on the agenda here, but if there are any, please bring it up. Okay, that sounds like a no. Um, all right, thanks everyone. Thanks for your uh, time. Uh, we'll meet again next Thursday, and that will be the last call for the year uh, for this year and uh, we'll get some things uh, discussed before we go on vacation. Thanks everyone.